The question says A and C worked on job Y working alternatively for 10 days. B and D then worked together for X days. If 1 by 36 of the job was still remained, then find the value of X. So basically they are working on job Y, which is which, which required similar efforts. So basically this graph is applicable for job X, Y, Z, all three of them, right? Now A and C worked on job Y working alternatively for 10 days. You understand? So if you see first, second, third, fourth and so on up to 10 days, A and C have worked alternatively. A, C, A, C and so on. And final day again C. Now we know that A can actually finish the job Y in 10 days. C can do it in 15 days. So how much will A do on first day? One tenth. How much would C do on second day? One fifteenth. Again A on third day? One tenth. C on fourth day? One fifteenth. I mean this is like regular process that you know, right? You don't have to write all these steps in the exam. So basically what do we conclude from this? In two days, in two days of time, how much of job will get over? Uh, we will be able to finish 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. Yes or no? Because the cycle is for two days, right? Every two days the same amount of work gets done. So 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 is how much? Mental calculation. 30 is LCM. 3 plus 2, 5 by 30, 1 sixth. In two days, 1 sixth of the job gets over. You understand? This is equal to 1 by 6. This is also equal to 1 by 6 and so on. So 1 sixth, 1 sixth, 1 sixth for 5 times. I mean two days each, right? So every two days they finish 1 sixth of the work. So 10 days is like 5 times 2 days, right? So in 10 days, how much of work is go over? In 10 days, they'll finish 5 by 6. 5 by 6 is completed, is done. Implies how much is remaining? What is the remaining work? Remaining work is 1 sixth. Yes or no? 5 by 6 is done. 1 sixth is remaining. The spelling of remaining is wrong, but yeah. That doesn't really matter. Don't correct it when you're solving it in the exam, right? Remaining work is 1 by 6. Remaining work is equal to 1 by 6. Now comes the next part. So after they have worked for 10 days, B and D then work for X days. B and D work for X days. And 136 of the job was still remaining. Then find the value of X. So basically, 1, 6, 5 by 6 is done. 1, 6 is remaining. Now B and D have worked together. And after working together for X days, 136 is still remaining. Which means the work done by B and D. How much is the work done by B and D? Work done by B plus D. How much is that? See, B plus D were given one sixth of the work, remaining work. But they work for X days and still 136 are remaining. So I can say B and D together have finished how much? 1 by 6 minus 1 by 36. Which is like 5 by 36, right? You're able to follow. After A and C left, one sixth of the work was remaining. B and D came after that. They have worked for X days and after working for X days, still 136 of the job was remaining. So how much of the work has been done by B and D out of 1 by 6? Out of 1 by 6, they have done 1 by 6 minus 1 by 36. So 5, 6 has been done by B and D. And they have done this 5, 6 of the work in how many days? In X days. You are able to follow. 5, 6 of the work has been done in X days. So what is the value of X is the question. Now understand, B in one day can finish 1 twelfth. D in one day can finish 1 18th. So B and D in one day, how much will they finish? B plus D in one day. In one day, how much will they finish? B will do 1 12th and D will do 1 18th. How much is this simplify? 36 LCM, 3 plus 2, 5 by 36. So which means B and D, if they work for one day, they can finish 536 of work. And that's what they've done here, right? They work for some X days to finish 5 by 36. I know that in one day from the given graph, in one day they can finish 536 of the work. So obviously for finishing this 536 of the work, they have taken one day. So I can say x is equal to one day. As simple as that. Again, do not go by the length of uh, the solution here, right? I'll highlight what all should not be put on paper. All this is crap. This is just for your understanding, right? I mean, within no time, you must figure out that in two days they can finish 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15, which is like 1 sixth. So in 10 days they'll finish 5 by 6. All these are mental calculations. I think in my view, even this portion should not be put on paper. You can do it mentally. 1 sixth is remaining. Again, B and D have also done 1 by 6 minus 1 by 36. This also should be done mentally. Maybe this step you put on paper, but otherwise there's hardly any paperwork there. You able to follow? So 1 by 36 was remaining. That remaining has to be subtracted from 1 sixth, which was given to B and D to get the amount of work done by B and D. And then find out capacity of B and D to get the required answer. Okay, let's discuss the solution now. E worked on job Z for five days and the remaining job was completed by A, B 
and D who worked on alternate days starting with A followed by B and D in that order. Find the number of days B worked for. Right? So interesting question. He says E worked on job Z. Now remember job Z is same as X which is same as Y. So basically this is the requirement for job Z. Right? If A has to work on job Z, he'll take 10 days. B takes 12 days. C takes 15 days. D takes 18 days and E takes 20 days. Now E worked on Z for 5 days and the remaining job was done by A, B, D who worked on alternate days starting with A followed by B and D in that order. So basically it's not really alternate days that way. I mean I don't know what the term to be used but it's like A then B then D again A, B, D again A, B, D and so on. But this came into picture only after uh, E has worked for 5 days. You're able to follow. Now, if you look at it, we know that A, E needs 20 days to finish this job. E can finish the whole job in 20 days. Right? E can do, like if you look at E's capacity, E can do one job in 20 days. One is like one unit, right? Total job in 20 days. So, if E works for 5 days, how much of the job will get over? One fourth of the job will get over? Yes or no? If he can finish the full job, one unit of the job in 20 days, in 5 days he'll finish how much? One fourth of the job. Right? Implies E has done one fourth of the job. One fourth is done. If one fourth is done, three fourth is remaining. These are all mental calculations again. I mean, you don't have to write any step on paper. E can do in 20 days. He has worked for five days. So one fourth is done. If one fourth is done, three fourth is re remaining. Now that three fourth will be done by whom? By A, B, D. Who will work in A followed by B followed by D in that order. So then the number of days for which B worked for is the question. And understand. Again, it's the same uh, like the previous one, right? A, B, D. Again, A, B, D. And so on. So the set will be for 3 days. Every set of 3 days, the same amount of work gets completed. A's capacity is 1 by 10. B's capacity is 1 by 12. D's capacity is 1 by 18. Right? So each day when A works, he will finish 1 tenth. When B works, B finishes 1 twelfth. And D finishes 1 eighteenth. So how much will they work? How much will they finish if they work for 3 days, let's say? This is the amount of work done in 3 days. Yes or no? They will come one after the other in that sequence. So what is the value here? Uh, I think uh, 60, 90. Uh -huh. What is LCM? 180 is LCM. So 18 plus 15, 33 plus 10, 43. 43 by 180. So they can do 43 by 180 in how many days? 3 days. Who? A, B, D. So, in one cycle, they will finish 43 by 180. 43 by 180, right? 43 by 180 of the work. How much are they supposed to do? They are supposed to do 3 fourths of the work. You are getting in? 1 fourth is already done by E. Now, 3 fourth is to be done. Yeah? So, 43, I mean, if I have to look at it, 43 by 180 is like approximately 1 fourth. 45 by 180 is 1 fourth, right? Try and understand. I mean, mentally if you see, 43 by 180 is like very close to 45 by 180. 45 by 180 is what, exactly 1 fourth. So, we are basically saying that approximately 1 fourth of the work is done in 3 days. You, you look at it. Approximately 1 fourth of the work is done in 3 days. Try and understand. Let's assume, assume that total work is 180 units. And so, I mean, we have started with one unit, but, uh, you know, assuming total work as 180 units is going to make it simple, right? Assume, let's assume that the total work W is equal to 180. E has done how much? E has done one fourth, which is equal to 45 out of 180. You understand? E has done 45 out of 180. One fourth of the work is done out of 180 units. One fourth is done, which means 45 out of 180 is done. Now, what is remaining? Three fourth. Three fourth is nothing but... 135 by 180. So basically, A, B and D, this group has to do how much? They have to do 135 by 180 of the work. Now, 135 by 180 has to be done. We know that they can finish 43 by 180 in 3 days. So try to get this as close as possible to 135 by 180. That's the regular way we solve these questions, right? You must have seen our time and work videos. So multiply both sides by what? I think multiply both sides by 3 into 3. So what do we get? 43 into 3. So that's like 129, right? 129 by 180 can be done in 9 days. 
right what is remaining now see they were supposed to do 135 by 180 out of which they finished 129 by 180 so how much is remaining 6 by 180 is remaining 6 by 180 you, you understand implies the remaining work remaining work is how much 6 by 180 which is like 1 by 30 now who will come on the 10th day see after 9 days have passed first 5 days have passed after that 9 days have passed who will come on 10th day on the 10th day again this person a would come and you know that a's capacity is 1 by 10 so can he not finish 1 by 30 in that 10th day yes in 1/3 of the day he'll finish 1 by 30 the work you able to follow now the question is find the number of days for which b worked see understand in this set of 9 days b will come how many times 3 times out of these 9 days a work for 3 days b work for 3 days c work for uh, d work for 3 days again on the 10th day a comes and finishes this 130th of the work so basically the number of days for uh, which b worked for is 3 days the answer to this question will be 3 days you able to follow 3 days is the final answer you got to understand the whole uh, pros i mean this uh, this thing let me just put it here i mean this lack of space but what is happening is first day second day third fourth fifth 6th 7th 8 9th 10th 11th 12th 13th 14th 15th the work goes on for 15 days understand that for the first 5 days only e is working so e works here e works here i mean i'm hoping that all of you have followed this but let me just put it here so that you can follow uh, then next after e is work for 5 days a b d will come into picture so they work in this fashion a b d again a b d again a b d and then a comes so how much is getting over in this 5 uh, days 45 by 180 is over in these 3 days every set of 3 days we are finishing 43 by 180 so in 9 days we'll finish 129 by 180 129 by 180 on the 10th day a would come i mean on this 15th day in fact a will come and he will finish actually he will not take the full day he will take only 1/3 of the day and he will he will finish that remaining work 1 by 30th of the work So the question is, how many times, how many times here did B work? So if you see, B came on seventh day, B came on tenth day, and B came on thirteenth day. Only three days. So that is the reason our answer here is three days. I hope you have followed this. All right. So here is the question. It says, if the ratio of number of days for which B and D worked on job X is four is to three, then find the difference between the number of days for which B and D worked. Oh, sorry. Is this the question? Hold on. I think the question was something else. Yeah, sorry. Here's the question. So the question says if A, C, and E worked on job Z for two days each, and the remaining job was done by B and D, if the ratio of number of days for which B and D worked is in the ratio of twenty to twenty-one, then find the number of days for which B worked. So basically, he's talking about job Z again. We know that. For job Z or job Z also, the requirement is same. Efforts needed are same, right? Ten, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty, respectively, for A, B, C, D, and E, right? So he says A, C, and E worked on job Z for two days each. So A, C, and E work for two days each. Now understand, A in one day can finish one tenth. So in two days he'll finish two by ten. Plus C in one day, C in one day can finish one by fifteen. So in two days C will finish two by fifteen. Plus Uh, e in one day can finish one by twenty. So in two days E will finish two by twenty. Simplify this. So what is LCM? Sixty is LCM. Uh, we can take two common here, of course. So ten goes six times. This is four times, and this is three times. So six, four, and three is thirteen. Thirteen by sixty or twenty-six by sixty is done. Right? Is done by whom? A, C, and E. A, C, and E who has worked for two days each. Right, twenty by twenty six is done. Implies how much is remaining? Remaining is how much? Remaining would be thirty four by sixty, or you can say seventeen by thirty. Right, thirty four by sixty. Let's say thirty four by sixty of the work is remaining. Clear? Now the point is the remaining job was done by B and D, and the ratio of the number of days for which B and D worked is twenty to twenty one. The ratio of the number of days for which B and D worked is twenty to twenty one. So find the number of days for which B worked. Now try and understand that the remaining work is thirty-four by thirty, and it was done by whom? Done by B and D. Right? The remaining work thirty-four by sixty was done by B and D, and it says that B and D worked in the ratio of twenty to twenty-one. Right? 
So find the number of days for which B worked is the question here. Right, find the number of days for which B worked. See, we know the capacities of B and D. B's capacity is 1 by 12, D's capacity is 1 by 18. Right, the capacities are 1 by 12 and 1 by 18. Now, let's, let's assume that uh, these are like uh, 20D and 21D. I mean, it's like parts, right? 20 parts and 21 parts, like we usually say. So it's like 20D and 21D, right? Now, simple point is, this remaining work 34 by 60 was done by B and D. B worked for how many days? 20D days. D worked for how many days? 21D days. In one day, B can do 12, 1 by 12. So in 20D days, he'll do 20D by 12. And in one day, D can do 1 by 18. So in 21 D days, he'll do 21 D by 18. Simplify this. What happens? So if you if you simplify for 12 and 18, the LCM is what? Uh, 180 again. So this goes 15 times, right? Or I think we can take 6 common. Let, let us simplify it here itself. Take 6 common. So this is 10 times, 2 times and 3 times. This is 10 times and this is 7 times. So basically 17D equals to 34 by 10. 17D is 34 by 10. So D is like 1 by 5. D is 1 by 5. That's it. The fact that you've got D, you know that how many days were spent by B and D, right? He's asking us to find out the number of days for which B worked. See, B worked for 20D days. What is D? 1 by 5. So 20 into 1 by 5, which is 4 days. Right? So that's the answer.